Okay, I'm going to show you a new AI app called Krita to uh, how to make this astronaut in space, all right? So um, we'll start off new right now, and uh, I just copied the prompt here. So let's say new file. And um, we say create, so this is nothing here. So uh, you can see this panel here, we have a prompt that we can uh, write down whatever we want to. So I just um, write down astronaut floating over Earth, ast asteroids on fire, stars in space. And uh, this is like light painting. So we do a light painting and we start it. So now start generating, but we can use this canvas to actually um, to, to allow the computer to interpret the uh, light painting and make the uh, graphics. And um, this strength here is um, allowing the computer, uh, is allowing the AI model to uh, decide uh, how much they want to use this canvas. So the less uh, strength, the lower it is, uh, the less, the more, I mean, the more it will rely on the canvas. And if the um, percentage is higher, then it would actually uh, allow the AI model to interpret, to imagine what it would be. So we can bring it up higher right now to see, and then uh, it would actually do something even without me drawing anything. You can see right here, that's like the, what it is, the, ast the um, again, the astronaut floating over Earth, asteroid on fire, but, um, and uh, stars in space. But now we can see the astronaut on fire. Okay, all right, now we start painting on it. And uh, let's use, uh, Earth is probably blue, so I'll use blue. And um, let's actually um, draw draw it. So I want Earth to be right at the oh, wrong color. Let's try again, uh, blue, all right. Then uh, I want Earth to be at this side of it. Let's try again. Right. And um, then I use the fill tool to fill this. Um, so now you can see it. The herb is actually over here. Um, let me lower a little bit. Then um, I want a uh, shooting star. So I may want to. Uh, Actually, I want to fill the space with black first. So I fill this space with black. Then um, go back to the blue. And uh, spray. Okay. Okay. That's my earth. And now you can see that that astronaut, the Earth is here, and there's some fire. And what's interesting here is uh, I can actually use this as a base uh, canvas now. I can just do this and copy it. And now I'm actually using this as a base canvas, and I don't have to draw a whole lot of stuff. And um, you can see the new generated graphics is over here. And uh, now I want to do some uh, shooting stars. Um, let's see a star. Can I do that? Let's see whether I can get some shooting stars. If not, I can maybe increase a little bit, let it, or maybe uh, lower a little bit to see what it does. I wanted to rely a little more on my canvas, so maybe, uh, oh, there you go. Now you can see the uh, the red that I drew now become the shooting stars, the shooting asteroid. I like this a little better. All right, and now I copy this again here. Now you can see that now the base canvas is this um, Earth with these shooting asteroid. And I want the uh, shooting asteroid, but I want the asteroid to be a little bit bigger. So I um, I use this tool select the and then I uh, transform it I want it like this I want like that and I want to make it bigger 
Oops. All right. And then uh, select, deselect. All right. Let it give a little time. And now I look at it. Um, <clears throat> don't you think it's actually quite nice? Um, let us try a little bit. In, uh, I don't like that. So. Now, this is the uh, final product. Um, actually, there's some some messed up thing here. Let's uh, try fix that, maybe. Uh, select this. Uh, go back to the blue. Uh, but you get the point, you know? So I don't like this. Let's erase that, all right? See what it does. All right, this is a final product, so you see what I'm doing. All right, thank you guys.